So after working with 200 plus affiliates, I've kind of understood the key differences between the successful and non-successful ones. It's kind of crazy because I don't want to be a predictor of a student's success, but after working with over 200 affiliates, I can kind of tell which affiliates that I'm working with are going to actually be successful or not because of the mindset, because of a bunch of key differences that I want to kind of discuss in this video. But before I get into this video, what's up? It's your girl Chanel Stevens. I'm back again with another video. So make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm going to be dropping more content on this channel very, very, very soon. And also drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on what I'm about to say in this actual video. Okay? So first things first, let's just dive right into it. The key differences really First key difference is the time scale of which they want success. Most of the students that are successful, they want it very, very fast. They are in some type of crunch where they're looking to quit their job in the next 30 days. They're looking to, um, you know, make $10,000 in the next 30 days. There is some type of high goal posts. Um, results that they want right and most of those students don't see success and I feel like the reason they don't see success is because they have this pie in the sky dream of okay my first campaign that I ever launched I never ran a CPA marketing ad in my life but somehow in 30 days I'm gonna be making ten thousand dollars a month and that would be possible if I was the type of coach that was like okay let me give you the fish right let me give you the fish just copy everything I'm doing. Here's the offer. Here's the traffic source. Here's the landing page. Here's, you know, what you target in your tra traffic source. And these are the ads you use for your traffic source. If I just gave you the fish, maybe that would be possible, which I've done in the past. When I first, first uh, launched my academy and things like that, I was giving away all the campaigns, landing pages, things like that, right? Which you can still get access to that stuff, but it's more so as an inspiration. It's not to give you fish so that, oh, I'm going to just take this stuff and I'm going to be making $10,000 in 30 days. No, that's not what it's for. What it's kind of for is to kind of show you the setup, get you, um, give you a good idea on how CPA marketing offers work, how the landing pages kind of come together with the offers, uh, things like that, right? How the targeting works with the offer landing page. So you can kind of tie it all in together. But what happens is a lot of people just, they want those instant results. So the students that figure out that, man, she's actually just, she's teaching me how to fish, but I, I kind of just want the fish. I don't want to learn how to fish. Those are the students that don't really see success because they're not really looking to, you know, set up anything from scratch or pick out their own traffic source. They're kind of just looking at me to say, hey, what's the best traffic source? When it's a lot of traffic sources that are popping right now. You know what I'm saying? You have TikTok, you got Snapchat, you got Facebook ads, you have um, some native ads like Rev content going crazy. You got Google search ads. You got all these different traffic sources out there, but a lot of people just can't simply just pick one because they're thinking, okay, which traffic source is really going to give me those instant results where I can just put an offer up and boom, money. Because it's a lot of other people out there teaching like, okay, just do this, this, and this, and boom, it's money. Which it is that simple. It is just as simple as picking out an offer. The simplest offer you can find, you know, one where you can just, somebody can enter an email address and you get paid, right? That is how simple it is. But you don't want to oversimplify it thinking it's too easy. That way you're just throwing up some crappy lander and thinking you're just going to get results. You know, study what landers are out there. Buy the spy tools. For people that are new, you the most the majority of your tool money should be going to a spy tool so you can start seeing what's out there in the marketplace. You can start seeing what ads are already running on what traffic sources. So you should be buying spy tools. If you're going to be doing Facebook ads, you should be having a Facebook ad spy tool. Or you should be going through the ad library if you can't afford any tools or something like that. The same with TikTok ads. You know, it's different spy tools out there that you can purchase. And yeah, they may be on the expensive side. It may be 99 bucks, 100 bucks. You know, if you want to do mobile ads, you know, like Adplexity is like 150, I think, with like a coupon or something like that. So these tools are can be very like expensive i guess you can say because when i first got online and i was and people were telling me about you know buy what runs where and things like that that tool was like 
I want to say $300 and I just couldn't fathom like $300 a month for a, a, a ad spying tool and I was just like I just couldn't understand but if you wanted to be successful with native ads you needed that tool so you can see kind of what's out there so after years and years and years of using these spy tools and seeing what's out there I got a good idea of you know what type of ads I need to run um you know with good google search traffic so i don't need espionage as much you know so spy tools really don't matter at this point but in the beginning they really did so for all the newbies out there go study the platform on which you're going to be running advertising on right and that's a person that's usually successful my most successful student went out there studied the ad platform this was with facebook ads and he was able to come up with his own campaign literally from scratch his own lander um, he had a little bit of marketing experience but it wasn't with cpa marketing it was more so just understanding how to create ads and things like that um but he was able to put together a whole winning campaign from a new niche i think it was in like like um like i think the offer was like a game tester offer like oh become a game tester or something like that and I want to say it was, uh, a, I think it was a CPL offer, if I'm not mistaken. It could have been a cost per sale, but it was something with game testing, game tester. He was able to set up a whole angle around game testing and just draw people in, draw people in. And it was a very successful six-figure campaign. Now, I should have interviewed that student, you know, for the channel and stuff. I'm going to actually try to see if I can get some interviews with some students. I'm going to start um, looking towards the doing that. But... What I want to get at is it's a difference between successful and not successful students. All right. So my idea is the people that's going to come into this industry thinking, I'm going to just get a handout. I'm going to just try to buy a course and maybe that'll equal success. It doesn't, especially not my course. My course is going to teach you how to fish on various platforms, whether it's Google search ads, native ads, TikTok ads, Facebook ads. It's very, very possible to get instant success, right? I've seen students get success in literally 24 hours after a first, co our co first coaching call. We hop on a call, 24 hours later, they're getting results, right? How is it that a student like that can get results, but I have other students to where we can have three, four calls and a campaign still isn't set up and they still have no traffic going or um, it's little traffic. They're sending 10, 20, 30 clicks a day and expecting and hoping to get some results. It doesn't work like that, right? So it's a, I feel like it's a mindset between instant success and people who are really looking to learn the craft. That's who are the most successful. People who are really wanna put their mind into this. They really wanna kinda start building campaigns on their own they don't want the fish because they want to feed themselves for, for a lifetime not just a day because in the past when i gave away campaigns so people can just get instant results what happened was because everybody was kind of running the same thing all those ads would just get banned taken down immediately because the ad network can see that everybody's running even though i would say change the landing page even when i say oh maybe try a different offer that's similar even though i would say um, you know, run a different ad. That's not what people would do. People would just be like, no, I'm taking your ad. I'm taking your landing page. I'm just doing the same offer and I'm going to run it just the same and target the same thing you're targeting and I'm going to try to get your results. And that's why I can't really just massively give out offers and landing pages um, the same way I used to. You know, I can drop hints on like, okay, this is a converting offer. This is a good offer, you know, but I can't tell you how i'm running my ads i'm creating more competition for myself and i had to remember that this is a competitive game i can't give you guys everything i'm doing because i'm hurting myself in the end but i can't teach you how to fish so you can go out there and build your own campaigns for yourself become successful things like that all right so i'm not gonna drag this video on at the end of the day you need to have the right type of mindset when it comes to success with this industry because if you're the type of person where you're just looking for what's working right now who got that's possible but go out there and do your competitive intelligence stop trying to leech off other people's offers and landing pages don't be going around asking people what exactly they're running and things like that because no affiliate wants to share that information because nobody no affiliate wants competition so if you're like okay what offer 
okay and what what, what traffic what traffic source okay can you show me an example of your landing page that you're pretty much saying hey let me steal your campaign right so no no so yeah guys i'm just out here on vacation still as you can see so yeah, i'm out here in brickle yeah i got some construction going on over there it's a little loud out here but you see we got the miami river over there so yeah i'm just gonna be here for a few days until i head to um orlando for like a little family vacation it's actually raining right now i don't know if you guys can see the rain but it's definitely raining it don't even look like it's raining because the sun is out but it's actually raining which i hope it stops because i need to walk i didn't rent a car out here because i figure i can just uh walk everywhere and i also wanted to try out i don't know if you guys can see that little line i want to try out that moving rail they got like a little like subway rail system that i wanted to try out so i'm gonna try that out as well but yeah guys that's kind of all i got for this video i didn't want to take up too much of you guys time i just wanted to let you guys know the difference between successful affiliates non-successful affiliates what you know the key differences is and basically the key difference is just you know how you want your success you want it to be handed to you given to you you want to work for it you want to build it out not saying you can't do competitive intelligence rip you a campaign and have success i'm not saying that i'm just saying as you're doing that understand the process understand the process of building out the lander take the elements what made what do you think about this lander is successful try to implement those elements into another niche another type of lander you know what i'm saying like teach yourself how to fish stop just going out there looking um for people to just give you fish to eat you know stop just going to the fast food restaurant and just being like hey let me just get the two piece uh whiting and things like that you know what i'm saying like actually go out there go to the lake throw your get your fishing rod catch you a fish you know uh get off the scale get off the skin debone it whatever you do um when you're fishing you know season it up fry it up you know then you enjoy it. it's much more enjoyable that way too because you know you worked for it you know you know you worked for it and that those type of students are my most successful type students all right so that's all i got for this video guys i'll see you in the next one peace